Yo, what is going on guys? SCJ here, back with another video, and we finally got some more interesting topics or stuff to cover, as there hasn't been too much of that lately in my opinion, and I'm not the kind of creator to force out videos, but I've been seeing shows such as First Take and Undisputed with Skip and Shannon talking about Kevin Durant and the way he'll come back as well as other sports analysts, writers, ex-players, or current players, or even just fans giving their opinion, and I want to talk about that today, and I want to talk about one major claim a lot of people as well as analysts and hosts have been making and talking about lately about Kevin Durant. So the claim I'm talking about is Kevin Durant winning the MVP award this upcoming season. We've seen ex-players as well as current players like Andre Iguodala say KD will be the MVP. And after fans and other analysts threw the KD MVP claim or prediction out there, we saw Skip Bayless say that he believes Durant will be the 2021 MVP come this season. Personally, when I seen that notification come into my phone, I said, I, KD winning the award is totally out of the question now with how much of a jinx Skip Bayless is. But this was never something I even saw being possible this season to begin with. And if you watch my videos, then you know I think KD will come back close to the same or the same. And if you haven't, then I suggest you watch the video where I talk about that. But anyway, one thing to look at is for KD that Dominique Wilkins was 32 years old and ruptured his Achilles on the same side as his shooting hand. And KD was 30 years old when he dealt with his rupture, as well as the only player ever besides Dominique to rupture his Achilles on the same side of his body as his shooting hand, or more specifically, being a right-handed shooter and rupture his right Achilles. So it's not about him not being at a high level of play anymore when he comes back when I say that he most likely won't be the MVP this season. It's more about the process and getting everything together when coming back from an injury like the Achilles rupture that Durant suffered, especially when the last time he played, it'll end up being 18 months from when this season starts. Another thing with basketball really is that there's so much that goes into the game and playing at a high level that I think it's going to take KD like two weeks to a month or hell maybe a little longer to get used to playing meaningful games of basketball again against the best players in the world. You have to give Durant at least a couple of weeks of regular season games or regular season time to refigure his game, timing, go-to moves, and cadence out there. It just takes time after layoffs and I'm sure you guys all know, but practice just isn't the same as playing regular season games. Yes, I understand he's apparently been working out and playing pickup games with other NBA players such as Isaiah Thomas, John Wall, Sekou Demboya, etc. and his Nets teammates as well. But like I said, practice ain't the same as regular season games that actually count for something and I think we'll see that once the preseason and then the regular season games begin. Also, I personally think KD shouldn't be treated the way that, say, the Clippers treat Kawhi, where he's constantly rested, or in this case, the Nets shouldn't be over-resting KD by, say, load-managing both his number of games played or limiting his minutes too much just because he's coming off this injury. If anything, it should be the opposite. Basketball moves aren't the same as normal movements, and since he hasn't played meaningful games of basketball in the league in nearly 18 months, then I think that while, yes, you should maybe ease him back into things a bit, if KD is actually healthy he should be getting regular reps and minutes to work back into things physicians and medical personnel say right here that people who suffer this injury can return to full activities within 9 to 12 months and younger people with good bmi or body mass index are the best candidates for a full recovery durant checks off both of those boxes so it seems like that while yes maybe easing him into things may be the best choice for the nets they shouldn't be holding him back too much because like I said before, basketball and sports movements aren't the same as regular daily movements. And when you don't do them for so long, reintroduction can cause another injury to occur. So the Nets shouldn't be holding his hand too much and they should just let him get back to his normal workload relatively soon. So like I said in my KD returning the same video, I think he most likely will be fine or will return at a high level of play or close to the same level of play, but that doesn't necessarily mean he'll be dropping 50 on the first night of the season or within the first 5 or 10 games or nothing. He's going to need time to work himself back into things a bit. So I personally wouldn't bet any money on Kevin Durant being named the 2020-2021 to NBA MVP. Now he can do it, yes, there's a chance, but I personally don't think he will, like I said before, he's going to need some time to work into things, and that could take 10 to 20 games, and I mean, that's over 25% of the games that'll be played in this 72-game season this year. 
Also, I don't think the Nets will be a top two team in the East and usually the player responsible for his team's success in being a first or second seed in their conference is the player who wins the regular season MVP award. So that's another reason I don't see Durant winning this award this season. He himself even said he's not focused on that award during interviews the other day. So in conclusion, do I see Kevin Durant winning the 2020 to 2021 NBA MVP award? Like I said, I personally don't. Surely I won't put it past him, but even KD himself has pretty much said he's just focused on getting back on the court and with the difficult start to the season that the Nets have where they'll face the Warriors and the Celtics to start the season, that's probably a good thing for the team. So while I don't believe KD will be the MVP this upcoming season, I want to know what expectations you guys have for Durant this upcoming season, whether that be his level of play, MVP award, or whatever. Let me know down in the comment section below. Anyway though guys, if you like the video, then give the video a like as it helps out a lot. And if you want to see more NBA content or breakdowns like this video or any of my other ones, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. That way you stay up to date with my newest uploads. Anyway though guys, I'm SCJ and I am out. Peace.